Yo, what's up guys, the Goblin, and today what I have for you guys is a two and a half minute Moab with the P90 playing on C-Town, some 9v9 ground war nomination, P90 silencer, rapid fire, a quick little Moab, which is kind of, you know, an awesome MW3 gameplay. I think Moab's like this, where you're not playing with a full party and stuff like that. Really fun to watch, so hopefully some of you guys will enjoy. But today's topic is not about the gameplay, because MW3 is obviously not the newest Call of Duty, there's no sense giving tips for it. So today's topic is why I think video games are, you know, not the worst thing for teenagers to do as some parents make it out to be so I have a few friends and their parents absolutely hate video games I think it's the worst thing ever they um they don't support it at all and um, you know to me that's kind of weird because my parents have always been someone that you know they support the video games before YouTube this is before YouTube obviously once the YouTube channel took off they're even more supportive about it and uh, but they support video games but they also you know have a limit to it you know they don't want they don't want me sitting inside playing video games 12 hours a day the whole summer or something like that because that would be Honestly, that wouldn't be something I want to do either. That's kind of a you know waste of your time if you're playing them all day. But I think video games are a lot better for teenagers or for kids than watching TV or something like that for many reasons. First off, it's social. For the most part, when you're playing your Xbox, you're talking with some of your friends, you're having a good time, and it's social for, you know, you might play with your kids at school or your friends, even online friends or whatever, but it's a social aspect, and that's something that Call of Duty is. It's a team sort of game. It's a social aspect, and it's not just, you know, I think if Call of Duty, if there was no mics or anything, and it was just a solo game. I don't think it would be near as popular because that's a big part of the game is you know being able to talk with your friends on it on Xbox Live or on the PSN or whatever you play on PC as well. And the next thing I think is why it's better than TV for you is because you're doing something. If you're sitting TV, I know lots of times my sister watches TV. She just sits there. She just lies there. She's not even paying attention. Half time, you know, when your dad or your grandpa is watching TV, his eyes are closed. You don't play Call of Duty with your eyes closed. You know, Call of Duty, you have to be active. You have to be using your reactions. And, um, you know, it's, it's probably Call of Duty, playing video games and Call of Duty are not the best thing to do all day, every day. But I think if you do it in moderation and it's something that parents should be, you know, somewhat supportive of because it's better than what other teenagers could be doing bad things. They'd rather, you know, it's a lot better for their kids to be inside playing in their video games as long as it's not you know overdone there I pick up a nice like quad right here and a nice little kill feed but let me know in the comment section below how supportive are your parents of playing video games that would be nice to know in the comment section below I'd really be interested in that and if you guys did enjoy the video drop a like and as always subscribe for cookie I'm out peace